we just shipped a new version of V0 and I wanna do a quick demo of how it works. But first let's start in ChatGPT. You've probably noticed this, I know that I've noticed it. When I ask ChatGPT questions like, how do I do forms in Next.js? It's not up to date with all of the latest knowledge in the Next.js documentation or in the community or what some of the best practices are. So it'll talk about event handlers on the client side and calling external APIs, using the pages router, None of this stuff is necessarily wrong. There's just other solutions with some of the newer features in the app router, like route handlers or server actions. And it's kind of similar on Claude as well. So if I do, how do I do forms in Next.js? I've seen that Claude can sometimes have more up-to-date information in the latest model here, but still it's gonna give me something that has this event handler that's setting local React state in the component. So it's not even using URL state or server actions. It's okay. Um, but what we've tried to do with V0 is really build a tool that's super helpful for Next.js React web developers, Vue, and even more coming soon. So let's say I do, how do I do forms in Next.js? This is gonna be up to date on all the latest knowledge inside of the Next.js documentation. So it's gonna give me this stepped component here. It's gonna suggests, well, first I can create a server action that uses the use server directive. We're gonna call that from our form component. This is using a React client action and a client directive. And then we can use the form in the page. So this looks pretty good. It's definitely a bit more up to date on the recommendations. One of the really cool things is I can also say, how do I use the next form component? Now you might be thinking, what the heck is that? I've never even heard of that. And the answer is because it's not really released yet. <laughs> this is a brand new component, next form, that's on the Next.js Canary channel, but V0 already has knowledge of it and can help you if you wanna start using things that are only available in the Canary or experimental channel. So always up to date with the latest and greatest to give you all the knowledge you need to use Next.js and React very effectively. Now, V0 isn't about just Next or React. You can create basically any type of web application you can imagine. So maybe I want a Microsoft Paint clone where I can change the colors and make it fully interactive. This is all built just by prompting and asking questions to V0 and it generates the HTML, the React, the Tailwind code, and I can even publish these and share them with my friends. Maybe I wanna build something like the Windows XP desktop. This one really blew my mind. Um, you can actually click and take these and drag them around, which is just wild. Like when I was learning to program, if this technology would have been available, it would have absolutely blown my mind. Just to go from idea to working application I can tinker around with, and then just click the code and understand how all of this is working, even ask it to explain and teach me how the code works so I can have this pair programmer or this tutor along for the journey with me. So pretty cool that this works. Um, it's not all that we can do though. You can ask it to make games, which are interactive and you can share. You can ask it to actually run code. So maybe a binary search, I can get this output here when you're training for your leak code and you're trying to pass your interviews, you can get your outputs here and run and test different scenarios. You can upload images. So maybe you wanna give it some sprites, like the assets for a game you wanna build and make a little snake game here. So we'll see how good I can get here. Oh, oh I'm not very good. Oh, 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 no, hold on. No, no, I know this is what you're all here for. You're here to watch me play snake and hopefully do a decent job. Okay, much better now, come on, okay. All right, this could go on for a while, but that, that's the point. You can make <laughs> quick games. You can build your SaaS onboarding flows, which is kind of a nice. Okay, and go to the next step. Personal use. Oh, and we even get some interactive confetti. Well, one of the cool things here is that confetti comes from external packages. So V0 also has the knowledge of being able to pull in dependencies from NPM packages and be able to create things, whether it's Confetti or React 3 Fiber or any of these interesting 3D tools. You can bring in some grass if you want with 3JS. That's pretty cool. And when you go look at the code, honestly, I probably would, actually, I definitely would have not been able to figure this out myself without a lot of work. 
but it's nice. I mean, like, what is this? <laughs> I would have definitely not known how to do this. Uh, but it's cool that I can just ask it for things. And uh, this one is also really, really interesting. It is this like zoomable 3D kind of draggable interactive conference page that Evil Rabbit made on our team. It like, it looks pretty good. Like I would probably use this. And because this is all built on Shad CN UI, these accessible reusable components that you can kind of fork and modify, you're gonna get these great components out of the box that allow you to do things that you probably would have had to rebuild yourself and you can take them, you can modify them, you can change the themes. It all kind of comes out of the box. The one that I skipped over here that I also think is cool is, so it can also generate mermaid diagrams. So I asked it to explain the life cycle of an HTTP request. And this is pretty interesting. Like I can imagine a bunch of educational use cases to walk me through explaining different programming concepts or teaching me a new skill where having these visualizations created on demand can be super, super useful. So like I mentioned, it's all built on Shad CN UI. You can go check out all the components if you wanna see examples of what type of applications you could build with this. And one of the cool features of Shad CN UI is it has these blocks. Now these blocks, they also have this lift mode and you can take these blocks and actually open them in V0. So maybe I want to take this whole component or just some of these blocks let's say I want this one and it has an open in B0 button. So I can click this, it's gonna open up a new version and I can kind of prompt from here. So maybe I say, make this a monospace font from uh, next font and Google fonts and make it retro themed. I don't really know, maybe this will be cool, maybe it won't be cool. The nice thing is it's very easy to just try ideas and if it's not what you like, if it's not what you want, you can just start over. You're, you're using English as the primary method of programming. You can try things out. Maybe this is the vibe that you're going for on your e-commerce store. And when we go look, it has context of next font, the Google font registry. It can bring in all these different um, you know, font libraries that I can use. Now, let's say you wanna share this with your team because you love the style and you wanna build your e-commerce store in this way. I'll just click publish. We're gonna make this URL available publicly. And now I can share it with people. I've got a nice little view counter here. When people visit the page, I can see our component and also explore the code. So that's pretty nice. The last thing I wanna mention is not only can it do React, but I can also ask it to make a to-do list in view. And we wanna add support for all of the tools that you're using on the web. We wanna add support for Svelte and other common libraries that web developers are building with. So we already have support for Vue. It can help you write great Vue code. And we really wanna hear your feedback on where you'd like us to take V0 in the future. We want this to be a place where you can learn to program, a place where you can experiment with ideas, a place where you can publish little applications and store them on your phone and use them later. I know that I've already started to do that. Um, so I've got my to-do list. I'll say, learn Vue, learn Nuxt, deploy to Vercel, question mark, question mark, profit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's pretty easy actually. And you can imagine, okay, this is cool. I wanna share this with you know my parents because I'm learning to code and I want them to see my progress. So I can share them, look at this cool to-do list app I made. Hi mom, hi dad. It's pretty nice. So try out the new V0 and let us know your feedback. We'd love to hear what you'd like to see us build. Peace.